Mike, one, two, three. Mic test one, two, three. Mic test check one, two, three. Survivor's Day 2021. Mic test check one, two, three.
check. Don't do it. So we cover our points. I get to this thing. You can work. I am a doesn't he not even remember two minutes because cut talk to you outside on the patio too. He grabs me on the patio, he goes, You fucking courtesy in her, no fucking way. And I was like, I'm sitting there like, go fucking do it. For four months, how hard is this? She's fucked. He was dead serious too. He goes, I don't give a shit if she's from the community. I'm not fucking, I'm pushing back on the fucking rabbis. I'm not fucking doing it. Dude, the guy is going to be the Senate Minority Leader because King Jr. is stepping down to run for Congress. So when they go into the next session and reorganize in the fall, he's the fucking Senate Minority Leader. He's the highest ranking fucking Minority Senate. When I tell you I wasn't in the event a minute, he came in and, and they're like, uh, uh, Senator uh, Sharp told me to. I need to see you out on the patio. And I'm like, boom. And like this, boom, boom, boom. I was like, dude. <laughs> No, I don't, I don't, dude, dude, I'm, I'm like, I'm sorry, I, I, I was like, alright, whatever. No, because Vin wants his, Vin wants his person. So we're all battling Vin. Hmm? Well, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's Vin's friend. Yeah, so that's who Vin wants. And so we're all pushing back. On being, you know, and we were like using courtesy the other way, saying, "No, no, we're not, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do this." Like Tom, me, Seth, Declan, Singer. Now, <laughs> I started laughing when I, Dawson said it to me. I started laughing. I'm like, ah. Yeah. Have you been here before or no? Yeah. Oh yeah, dude, this is great. This is the Monsignor made me come. When I first became sheriff, I've been here for four years. And we does it all for the families. Yeah. And, you know, nobody said no to the Monsignor. You always came. And, I host meetings at my place. Yeah, because it's central for the state, so I host for meetings I can't. Once they do that, they're done. But and the Serena family is great, so that's a Serena bird. And the other one, the other one. Yeah, yeah. Awesome family. They all like. What's Woody Cole wants the other half? And they like black it up. Yeah. They, uh, but they put on the whole spread. All free. All day. Free food, free everything for the kids. Boys are good, they're heading back down August 1st. <laughs> See it? Yeah, I know. Fuck this thing. It's awesome. So, another family that we know just picked up and left the middle town. They left middle town. They were tired. They're like, it's too crowded. Too many New Yorkers moving in. We're out of here. They, they moved to Bluffton, right across the middle. Which is beautiful. That Bluffton area is cool. But the boys are good. They're, they're heading back down. We're, so, we're going down August 1st to the 10th. So, the town is just arrived. It's a great spot. Survivors, we're going to get started with our opening ceremony.
Good morning, everybody. Good morning. First and foremost, it's just good to be together again, you know, especially for this uh, event, our annual event, thanks to the Storino family. And uh, to see people's entire faces is also a good thing. Uh, and to come together uh, as one family, understanding that common thread that binds all of you, uh, knowing that each one of those journeys was different. Uh, but I'm humbled and honored to serve as the master's ceremonies this morning. Uh, and I know Monsignor Lowry, we've been talking about him a lot this morning. I do trust that he is here with each and every one of us. Uh, he, we will never forget him either. And I trust that his spirit and that booming voice that I could hear that opening prayer when he talked about that God of Abraham, Isaac, right? And a few others that I don't remember. Um, but I know that he's here with us. So uh, before we go through the recognizing all the dignitaries here, I would like to call up Father Mike to do the invocation for our opening ceremony. Father? Let us pray. O God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, in the Christian scriptures we read, blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. We praise and thank you, O God, who is love, for all that you have given us. We thank you for the gift of this day and our time together. In the face of loss and grief, you have given us one another console each other and to be compassionate with one another. In the face of loss and grief, you strengthen us with resilience and the ability to move forward. We reverence and treasure the memories of loved ones we have lost in their generous and courageous service in law enforcement. As your precious children, continue to fill us with your love. Fill us with the joy of serving you as we serve one another. As we continue together on the pilgrimage of life, we join our prayers with those who now rest in your eternal peace and the majesty of your mercy. We pray in earnest with our dear brother, Monsignor Philip A. Lowry, whom you have called to yourself. We ask your blessing in a special way on all members of government and law enforcement in our state of New Jersey. Bless them, protect them, guide them, and keep them safe. Bless their families and loved ones. We ask your blessing on the families who participate in this day of fun, of laughter, of memory and of consoling one another. We praise and thank you for this day. Help us to do your will each day in the pursuit of peace, truth, justice, and the common good. We praise your name this day and forever. Amen. Thank you, Father Mike. At this time, I just want to recognize the dignitaries that are, are here, uh, starting with the Lieutenant Governor, Sheila Oliver, who's a phenomenal partner and supporter of not only the state police, but of uh, all law enforcement. I'd also thank Mayor uh, Tony Vaz, the Mayor of Seaside Heights, for being here. Police Chief of Seaside Heights, Chief Tom Boyd. Monmouth County Sheriff Sean Golden. And representing Monmouth County Prosecutor's Office is Jeff Wilbert. Let's see who's behind me here. <laughs> Vincent Storino, who always is here. Ocean County Prosecutor Brad Bilheimer. 
And although he's not up here, he should be up here. Retired Lieutenant Colonel and U.S. Marshal of New Jersey, Marshal Juan Matos. John Chupa, I see him back there from uh, Garden State Cops hiding back there behind me. And certainly Michelle Carroll, the president of the Survivors of the Triangle, sitting right here. I hope I didn't. Uh, I hope I didn't miss anybody. I probably did. I know Monsignor Rosie, who took Monsignor Lowry's place, is here. I see Father Dason back there from St. James too. Uh, a special memory and bond that we share uh, during Monsignor's last rites. Uh, when his eyes popped open and he asked me to do his eulogy. It was one of the most humbling and honor, honors of my life that that happened, uh, just underscoring that God is in it all. Uh, so with that, I will uh, turn it over to the Ocean County Prosecutor, Brad Bilheimer, for welcoming remarks. Prosecutor. Good morning, everyone. Thank you, Colonel. Um, it's really my function here just to welcome you to Ocean County and say thank you to uh, the Storino family for this great event. Of all the events that uh, we get to go to every year, this is one of my favorites. So we pay tribute to all of you and all of your sacrifice. Um, and we certainly pay tribute to Monsignor Lowry, who I'm so lucky to have had a relationship with. Uh, he actually baptized my wife. And then some 40 years later, was able to be there when we got sworn in as the Ocean County Prosecutor. So uh, thanks to him and thank you to the Storino family. I hope that you all have a good time today. We'll blame Chief Boyd about the weather. I'm sorry it's not sunny, but it's the best we could do. And thank you. Thank you very much. It's now my honor to introduce the Lieutenant Governor of the great state of New Jersey, Lieutenant Governor Sheila Oliver. Well, hello, everyone. Uh, I first want to begin by thanking uh, everyone for extending an opportunity for me to be here with you today. And uh, it wasn't that hard to convince me. Uh, first of all, I want you to know that um, Governor Murphy and uh, First Lady Tammy Murphy had a great deal of love and uh, respect for the Monsignor. And living in Monmouth County, they got to uh, interact with him a lot. They got to dine with him. And uh, they got to worship with him as well. And the governor is sorry he couldn't be here today, but this is an event that is very significant and important to him. And the state will always do what it can to support this very special day. And to Mr. Storino, you and your family are doing just something that is exceptional. It is unimaginable that we get people uh, in the business community to step up and support law enforcement families in this way. 14 years the Storinos have done this and I think we need to give him a round of applause for that. Uh, you know, um, I, I often like to say, especially when I am in the company of law enforcement, um, you know, I talk to a lot of people in law enforcement from all over the state, and they all tell me about how the morale is down, and, you know, how they feel about not being appreciated. Um, I want you all to know that in New Jersey, we appreciate you. We appreciate what you do from one county to the next. And do not believe the hype. You have support from everyone in the state of New Jersey. I just wanted to say that. And I think back to 9-11, I think that's when everyone's consciousness was raised about the sacrifices that those in public safety undertake. And I think it has developed even broader respect because as I like to say, you never know 
when you leave out in the morning if you'll be returning in the evening. And to the children of uh, law enforcement, I know this is a good day that you look forward to every year. When I was a kid, I was telling uh, uh, the colonel that uh, one of the things that I got pumped up about was coming to Seaside and Belmar and all the shore towns for a day of fun and the beach and the rides. So I hope you enjoy each other today. I hope you get to know each other as well because you come from all different towns. But have a great day and um, I look forward to coming back for maybe the 15th annual. Thank you. Thank you. I'll just echo, take a few moments to echo uh, Lieutenant Governor's remarks about this profession of law enforcement and the survivor families that you understand uh, and that national narrative to the LG's point uh, that we need to control that narrative because I think this is the most noble profession on the face of the earth uh, and we need to remind ourselves of that especially those that I see out here and I look into your faces and your eyes uh, to hear a narrative that is different than that that we still have young women and men willing to raise their right hand and take that oath to do this job to the best of their ability. So help me God, uh, and he does, as I say. Um, and that's what we need to remind ourselves each and every day. And those of us in positions of leadership uh, cannot sit there with our arms crossed and say, woe is me. What we need to do as leaders of law enforcement around this state and country is become part of the solution of instilling that public trust and building those bridges that in some places have eroded, in some places they didn't exist at all. But I know that in New Jersey, since 1854, we've lost more than 500 law enforcement officers. And even back then, that when they got up and put their feet on the floor, it was to go out and put themselves, uh, other people before themselves. And that still exists today in 2021. Uh, I often look back to our first colonel's general order number one, 100 years ago, first general order, when he said, the prevention of crime is more important than the punishment of criminals. Think of that. The prevention of crime is more important than the punishment of criminals. And I watch men and women across this country each and every day go out there with that understanding of compassion and treating people according to the Constitution. So, uh, it's, as I said, it's good to be together again. Uh, I know the sun's not out, but I'm not complaining about this in this wool shirt. Uh, and I just, uh, it does my heart good to be together. Uh, that thin blue line might be thin, but it is unbreakable. God bless each and every one of you. At this time, I'd like to have uh, John Troop up to offer some remarks. John. Thank you, Colonel. The sun may not be shining, but I know our family members are up there smiling down on us, and the sun is shining because of them. On behalf of um, Michelle Carroll, the president of Survivors of the Triangle, and myself, John Schuper, the president of Garden State Cops, we would once again like to thank the Storino family for making this day pleasurable for us. You sure he's your brother? You look like twins. We'd like to present you with another plaque for our 14th anniversary in recognition of your kindness and generosity in presenting the 14th annual Monsignor Lowry Law Enforcement Survivors Day. And it's from your friends at the New Jersey State Police, the Survivors of the Triangle, and Garden State Cop Chapter. We'd like to once again thank you for opening up your doors to our family, to our children, and to everyone else to have a great time at your wonderful facility. Once again, folks, please thank the Serino family for opening up their hearts to us and welcoming us back again this year. In case you didn't hear what Mr. Serino just said, as long as they're still here and own this place, we're welcome back every year. So I look forward to many, 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 many years of coming back 
to Breakwater Beach. Thanks for being here. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you, John. A special thank you to Lou and the entire Storino staff as well. Uh, we couldn't really do it without, without them and the welcoming spirit and the hospitality uh, is second to none, as, as all of you well know. Uh, so without any further ado, uh, would you want to close this out, Father? Yeah, yeah, you want me to close it? So I just uh, wish everybody a, a beautiful day. Again, I know the sun's not cranking, but uh, take advantage of all of the, uh, the slides and the lazy river uh, and get to share time with one another. So one thing that COVID made us realize uh, is how much we need to not take for granted what uh, each day offers us. They call it uh, the present because it is a gift. So God bless each and every one of you. Enjoy. Lunch is on.